New York's a challenge, isn't it? And I think once you master that, you master anything. A few days ago, I was out just making a little extra cash at Washington Square Park, and a young woman came up to me and she described to me that basically what they were doing is leaking four songs from Oasis's new album, and they were going to put them in the hands of street musicians. And I guess the idea was where the music would ultimately end up, they wanted it to start there. Get off your high horse, lady. I don't need no ride tonight. But I appreciate the guy that's got to make a living off playing tunes. We're all in the same boat, really, aren't we? My dream was to be big and do all that stuff, but... I think they're doing it for the right reasons. You get get caught up in the hoo ha of it all, when all it's about is the music, really, and the tunes. And I think that what they're doing is right. I love Oasis, especially Wonderwall, because I played that song from 1995 to 98. And he paid my rent for three years. Good. Wow. So me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still paying it. <laughs> oh, I'm actually a member of their site, the Oasis Net Forum. So I found it through their website. I saw the big news um, feed on their website. It linked me to the New York City website with all the times and everything. And I just said, hey, I'm going. Magical mystery. Golden good times. Golden good times. Golden good times. I'm hearing it and it's not a recent performance, but that's a damn good song. a bit jealous of the first band that played uh, High Horse Lady. I'm yeah, thinking we should rethink our version. Good, yeah, actually, this is a shit idea, this, actually. Whoever fucking knew I, I hate the record, yeah, though. Yeah, trying to make, over, us, over, trying over, to make us look really bad. Over, overnight, I've just got that. That's shit. That's how we should have done it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you fuckers. Nice one. Get up, get up. 